Good morning and welcome to the 2019 South African Cross Country Marathon Champs here at ARC Rudderplot in Pretoria. An incredible day. We've got just over 81.2 kilometers for the elite men and women, over 1,000 meters of climbing. Depending champions today, Gert Haynes and Robin de Groot. That's correct. And if Robin de Groot wins today, it'll be her seventh consecutive win at the SA Champs. Unbelievable. Good luck out there today, Robin. Good luck to all the riders. We'll see you on the finish line. What are you expecting from SA Champs at Biffles Drift today? Well, I'm in the veterans category, so I think we've we've probably got one of the hardest categories to race here. And I think with these sort of trails here, it's going to be the best all-round rider is going to win it on this course. So racing the 70k uh, elite men's uh, batch, looking forward to it. It's my fourth trail seeker now. I've uh, been working my way up through the batches and uh, yeah, really looking forward to a, a fast race today. 3,000 riders today sold out across the categories, uh, a beautiful day of racing and uh, by all accounts an incredible technical South African champs course. Yes, no, it's, uh, it's quite hectic to balance all of this with 3,000 people doing a big fun ride and a portion of them re really serious about SA champs. Um, you have to try and, and accommodate everyone. We did put a lot of effort into building different routes. So there's virtually no overlap between the 20 and the 40 and the 70 and the ultra marathon. Um, so we're just happy that we pulled it off and gave everyone a great experience without bottlenecks um, and, and this amount of people and well done to my team. Um, I think it's going to be a hard pace. I'm really excited to see what the girls are doing at the moment. Um, I'm really excited that it's in kind of my home place. So we're looking forward to that first climb. I think that's going to warm us up and make a break. Um, so this is my third trail seeker that I've done. Um, I started with the 40, I actually started this time last year with the 40 kilometer at Biffles. Um, and I was so scared, I couldn't sleep the night before and then when I did it I just realised how much fun it is and how like everyone is just here together and everyone's supporting each other on the trail and like I really would just love to encourage like more girls to come and ride. Like it is the most amount of fun and it like really pushes you out of your comfort zone and you get to beat boys up hills and down them and like it just like you feel so great about yourself at the end it is like a crazy crazy experience it's awesome yeah i mean from the get-go the pace was so hot uh, i kind of knew who was going to be where um, by about 60 k's and i fell off on one of the climbs and i tried my best to catch up on the descents but these girls are strong wow <laughs> i had so much fun buffles i love the descents here and that's my strength so just holding on in the ups and then having a blast on the way downs is kind of what i live for I was hoping like mad that Phil don't catch but the odds are slim because this is pretty much his backyard and then when he caught back up and um, it's pretty much like a dog leg out and Gert went and obviously we all followed and I was the last to react, managed to get the good corner and then from there it was just a drag race and Gert, Gert we passed Gert and then I saw Phil and then I was catching Arno and uh, the last little bit, I think, I think he smelled the jersey and just had that little bit too much. So it was close, but oh well. Great South African course though, some great single track, a proper, proper race. Nice to see a sprint finish. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we should do every race here. Yeah. Just do it in reverse and then the next time the other way around. Yeah, I know the trails here yeah, and uh, managed to latch on again and uh, knew it was going to come down to a sprint. And uh, I think then it's anyone's game. Um, and. Uh, yeah, well done to Arnu for taking it, uh, it's a well-deserved win to him. Yeah, it feels awesome, I'm sort of speechless, so much hard work that goes into it and yeah, the racing was quite tense and nervous all the way through, I know I just had to stay calm and the last half came down to like sort of cross-country type racing, nice and technical and yeah, I came down to a four-man sprint and I'm happy to take the win there.
It was a super tough one, um, yeah, different to the others that we've had and I think um, you know, every now and again you've got to have horses for courses and this one certainly, um, I mean Sam really, she rode superbly on this course and uh, for me definitely I had some weaknesses and uh, they worked on me and eventually uh, I just couldn't keep uh, closing the gaps so that just made me pop. <laughs> uh, incredible, I was super stoked, uh, it was such an amazing day out there. So fantastic to have Robin back on the start line and pushing us and watching uh, Sarah, you know, she's coming up through the ranks and biting at our heels. The course was amazing, well organised, you know, the guys at Admin Endurance always put on a good show and just really great to be out here representing Domacaba. Endurance actually hosted the Marathon Champs uh, probably on about six occasions. This is the second time in a row that it's formed part of the Nissan Trail Seeker Series. And Nissan has been such a good supporter of ours and such a good sponsor at going into the 12th year that it's great that we can do this high profile event for them. This is actually my first race. I can say it's definitely worth coming down. Very fast, very flat. Even for a beginner rider, it's awesome. Come join us. Man, the series is very nice. Hoor. It's very good series. It's good organized. It's a tough race, but it's very good. Very thank you. I'll challenge all my friends at home and it's cool to come and do this again. Stunning trials, wonderlijke event. Yeah, great. Really, really well organized. Fantastic. Good job. Next up, of course, uh, Himalanada. That comes next weekend. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, we're straight into the next one. Um, actually, the team, some of them are leaving tomorrow already and driving to the Cape. Um, Himalanada, totally different terrain. Obviously, at the coast, beautiful. Some of the really good single track again. Some of the best single tracks in the country. Um, quite a tough event. Um, lots of climbing. Um, not an easy event again. But yeah, it's a great privilege to, to host the event in that part of the country as well. So there we have it. The next Nissan Trail Seeker will be taking place in the Western Cape at Yomel and Arda on the 6th of July in Hermanus. We look forward to seeing you all there. Congratulations to all our winners today and of course to our new elite South African Cross Country Marathon champions. Well done to Honor Latoy and Samantha Songs. From Max and I, we'll see you at the next Nissan Trail Seeker. Cheers.